It is simple, yet relentless. I love the sound of that. Uh, talk to <laughs> us about the Air Coriel. Talk to us about what Norv Turner's bringing to the table in Carolina this year. Yeah, coined after the infamous Don Coriel's relentless vertical attack. It's predicated on stretching the defense to its limits in the passing game, and then you soften up the front seven with a, a play-action, bruising power run game uh, where you just pound the rock, and then it opens up the screen game underneath too. So it's really all about going deep and then pounding the rock up front to soften up the defense. He loves his big, tall receivers. We saw Michael Irvin, Vincent Jackson, Josh Gordon all over 6'2", 6'3", feast in this offensive system. Uh, but like I mentioned, loves to have a power running game as well, especially if it's a versatile workhorse um, that can both pound the gut, um, but also rip off screens and finesse routes as well. This is this uh, scheme that Ron uh, Chudzinski came up with and said, you run the football, you're physical as a running team, but then you take your shots with hard play action. It's okay to throw the ball downfield and see how things unfold. It's kind of just a simple air it out one-on-one, -on -one, what times. happens, let's go for the big play. That's the essence of the Don uh, Carriel chunks in the run game, run, chunks in the screen game, and then blow the top off the defense. There you go. Air Coriel, for those of you that were uninitiated, you've been initiated now. Uh, the player that's going to be affected, this one might be kind of obvious too, but I think it's really, really worth going into this because this is a guy that just a couple of years ago was considered the number one quarterback in fantasy. And I mean, mm -hmm. possibly we're looking at a real renaissance here. The Wolf and I actually took him as our quarterback in a high stakes league and thought we were getting an absolute steal. Uh, boy, were we wrong. But yes. that was a couple of years ago. So uh, let's talk about Cam Newton. Yeah, he's got the cannon arm, the ability to buy time in the pocket. Two perfect things fit North Turner's system like a glove, being able to rope it down the field and let your receivers get open downfield uh, by giving them extra time. Love all that, but what I actually love about North Turner, a lot of the quotes I've been reading is he really simplifies the game. He doesn't make you think too hard. It doesn't make you call a million different audibles. He just kind of lets you go out and ball. And there's nobody that's more dangerous when they're having fun and just going out and balling than Cam Newton, especially when it's an offense that plays, again, to that arm cannon in strength. He's got a bunch of deep weapons surrounding him now with DJ Moore drafted. Uh, you got Greg Olson being able to streak down the sidelines. And then obviously you got Christian McCaffrey in the screen game. He's got tons of weapons around him. He's got an offense where he's not going to have to think. He's just going to be able to play. And they've already said, we're not going to you know, rein him in. He's, he's going to be able to run. He's a mobile guy. That's what makes him special. And we're not going to just stop him. He's going to play the way he plays. That's what makes him dynamic is what his offensive coaches say. So you got a guy that's going to let him run. You got a guy that's going to let him sling the rock. And you're going to make the offense as simple as possible. All great news for Cam Newton. Where do you like Cam right now this season? Like, where where would you draft him? I know obviously a lot can change in the next month, month and a half. Uh, right now, where where is he on your quarterback board? That that's what is tricky. Is one Turner's offense has not been dynamic for five straight seasons. It's been horrible. Uh, he's had nobody to work with, so I expect that to be more of the, a lack of talent, especially when he's getting guys that fit what he likes to do to a glove. But there is some risk there that just Turner's washed up and old and a retread hauler. So, you know, I like Kirk Cousins a little bit better. We talked about DeFilippo. I'm a big believer in DeFilippo and, and Kirk Cousins, so I like him a little bit more. I have Breeze higher, and then I think I have Cam Newton kind of sliding and right at that QB7 spot with, of course, it's Cam Newton, the upside to be the number one scorer at the position, especially if he fits the system as well as I think he could. Uh, so he goes in that round like seven, eight range, and if I was going to take a QB that early, I know I just talked about how I don't take quarterbacks till round 12, so I won't be, uh, but if I was inclined to take a quarterback – I think Cam Newton makes a lot of sense in those middle rounds as a guy that could be a fantasy MVP come the end of the, the season. Yeah, I don't disagree with that.